गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू लीगल मैट्स बाय साई बाबू शंकरा दिस वीडियो इज फॉर द लॉ स्टूडेंट लॉ टॉट स्टूडेंट्स देर वर ए फ्यू क्वेश्चन लेफ्ट ओवर व्हिच वर गिवन द एग्जाम्स एंड व्हिच वर नॉट कवर्ड इन द सिलेबस वन क्वेश्चन वन सच क्वेश्चन इज सी एंटर रोल एस सी आई ई एन टी आर सी एंटर रोल सो नॉर्मली इन सिविल केसेस the center means an act done knowingly if you do an act knowingly definitely as per the center rule you are strictly liable to pay damages if you file a civil case if you file a case under tort so since we are discussing the tortious liability in law of torts please remember center rule means a rule where a rule of strict liability where a person knows that such act will be done normally this cn rule applies in case of uh, dog biting animal biting when you let loose your dog it uh, bites somebody all these things uh, they come under the so called cn rule so this is what is cn rule an animal keeper is strictly liable for the damage caused by the animal please remember normally the animal may be a dangerous species or may not be a dangerous species also so a dangerous species means somebody are in the habit of uh, rearing the bears elugu bantlu or uh, lions or uh, some people used to uh, actually they grow the elephants also as well as monkeys so please remember like a simple example is pet dog if a pet dog has got the tendency of uh, biting the others definitely if the owner is uh, when he is aware of it if he does not take action then he can be blamed under strict liability under c enter rule right so please remember <coughs> here they have given two examples also a binds his lion with a chain and keeps it in a cage so normally the circus people all of them they do the same thing ఇక్కడ దానికి చైన్ వేసి లోపల కట్టాడు యూ డి నాట్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ దట్ యూ విల్ కమ్ అవుట్ బట్ సమ్ తుంటరి బి బి వెంట్ టు ద కేజ్ అండ్ ప్రొవోక్డ్ ది లయన్ సో యాక్చువల్లీ డ్యూ టు ద ప్రొవోకేషన్ ఇట్ అటాక్డ్ హిమ్ అండ్ ఇండివిజువల్ బి ఆల్సో దట్ రిమెంబర్ సో నౌ వెదర్ ఏ ఈజ్ లైబుల్ అండర్ సి ఎంటర్ రూల్ ఆర్ నాట్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ నో బికాస్ బి హ్యాస్ టు టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ because because b has to take care of himself because it's a dangerous animal if a did not cage it then definitely he is held liable and another case buckles versus homes in this case the defendants that is a homes cattle strayed into the plaintiff's house actually cannot uh, cat simply to say he rearing a cat pilli pilli ni mentioned the defendants homes cat straight that means it trespassed or it went into the so called buckles house and it killed 13 pigeons we can see on the general ga pillulu powerful medical meda korkeyasthe so 13 pigeons please remember d is he held liable for a strict so called c enter rule no because this actually d did not encourage the cat to trespass or to stray into the house of the plaintiff of course cat can kill poisons but uh, he did not uh, do any act here this is important so it's also a negative example right now first example we are going to discuss so this is reed versus edwards r e a d reed versus edwards 1996 so please remember here the defendant's dog killed and chased away certain pheasants pheasants are with the nemal land jantulu pheasants of the plaintiff so d is liable for the dog's act of trespassing because d knew that it kills the so called pheasants ivi edanna pitta land illata nemal land kanapadthe deeniki alavadu kabakkan poi vaadu meda korkes alante you should be more careful endukante nemal ane jatiya pakshi pheasants so you should not get them killed so in such case if you file a case of tort definitely the defendant is 100% liable because the act was done knowingly please remember not with knowledge knowingly that's all so please remember if 
you have got, uh, you are uh, having a pet dog then if you know that it has got a tendency of uh, biting people then you have to take precautions if you don't take precautions you are liable under c inter rule simply this is the c inter rule of course i think you understood it if you don't understand please uh, <coughs> comment and i will definitely send the notes if you are unable to understand my video thank you very much